Welcome back, everybody. Question, is it safe to travel to the Philippines? It is a question that many tourists and overseas Filipinos ask before they book their own flights. Pamela Young is just back from Manila with some of those answers and much more. Hi, Pam. Hi, Howard. Thanks. More than 90% of Filipinos are Christian, and most of them Catholics, who celebrate religious holidays several times a year. Security forces under President Rodrigo Duterte are determined to keep these gatherings free from terrorism. Every 10 feet of the Sinulog parade route, there is someone in uniform. Not just soldiers, but police, marshals, and ROTC cadets. And authorities here have taken security one step further. They can't monitor the use of firearms or explosives, but they've eliminated the most valuable weapon of terrorists, technology. In an unprecedented move, the government has terminated all network services. So for the duration of the festival, this is useless. So are all connected services. No email, no texting, no Bluetooth, Uber, Twitter, GPS, ATM, and OMG, Siri is silent. Because the cell phones can detonate a bomb. At the same time, they can coordinate the social media to go ahead and coordinate any more attacks within the city. There are terrorist acts in the Philippines. The government has implemented measures to protect not only uh, the tourists, but uh, the whole uh, citizenry of the country. The blackout was announced just hours before implementation. Not enough time for terrorists or festival goers to make alternative plans. I lost my family during the parade, and I don't know where they are. No communications. In America, this would be considered censorship. And possibly a violation of the First Amendment. But officials in the Duterte cabinet urge Westerners to withhold judgment. There is always the paramount national interest of every country that every country must address on the basis of their own realities on the ground. And the reality here is that Cebu is only 50 miles north of Mindanao, stronghold of Abu Sayyaf and radical separatist groups. With two million people gathering in Cebu for the Christian observance of Sinulog, authorities took the bold step. Whether this strategy is an effective terrorism deterrent is still to be decided in an assessment briefing after the festival. But authorities are hoping it sends a strong message of how far the Duterte government will go to protect Philippine citizens. Could never happen in America, right? It already has. Five years ago, the Bay Area Transit Authority, or BART, cut off cell phone service to quell protests in four train stations. Civil liberties groups took the matter all the way to the Supreme Court, which let an appeals court ruling stand, stating a government or private company can black out your phones anywhere, anytime, in the interest of national security or public safety. Pamela Young, KHON2 News. Oh, Pamela, thank you. Very inter interesting. Did not know that. And we will have much more from the Philippines as Pamela brings us her mixed plate mabuhay that comes up tomorrow night right here after our 9 o'clock news. It'll be 9.30 on KHON2.